I searched for play to get the record. You think I did that? <laughs> it was not uh, not my choice. Um, no, he. Uh, I didn't even realize what was happening record-wise until uh, they called a timeout. He had made a couple in the second half and uh, heard Clay say, two more, two more. <laughs> and that's when I realized too. Uh, and I didn't even know who had the record, so I asked Steph, I said, do you have the record? He goes, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm a little slow on the uptake on some of this stuff. I'm worried about the rest of the game, but, uh, you know, at that point, the guys were just feeding him every time. And that's, you know, I think that's how much they care about play and health, you know, felt for him because he's had a rough start to the season. And obviously, um, we got it going tonight, to say the least. Just the, the talk in order, that it was kind of what you got. He's gotten him, gotten him a good look. What did you see tonight and how that played into uh, his night? It was incredible pace uh, without home run swings. You know, it was all we were doing was um, making fundamentally sound plays out of great pace. And that's that's our dream. That's what we preach all the time. It's um, It's not... You know, it's easier said than done. It's not always uh, going to happen. But when Draymond is pushing the ball like that and making good decisions, uh, and the guards are screening for each other on the perimeter, uh, it's it can be devastating. And, and I think you know, I think we only had three turnovers in the first half, so that was uh, that was really fun to watch. I mean, our guys were, were dialed in. Well, you obviously, yeah, Steph the other night. 51, KD at 25, what's the last week been like watching these uh, performances? Um, it feels like year five of coaching the Golden State Warriors. I mean, <laughs> seriously, this is what it's been like. You know, um, I can't even tell you how, how lucky I am and how I feel every night just watching these guys. and, and uh, how unselfish they are. Uh, they basically take turns and they encourage each other. They want each other to do well. And uh, we have all this talent. But the key is that these guys are committed to each other. And they play hard for each other. And they want each other to have success. And that's, that's why it works. And um, it's, been, it's been amazing to be along for the ride. Steve, you're obviously coaching the game, but like how many times through this week with Steph and Kevin and Quay, do you feel almost like a fan basking all these highlights? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the game has gotten so fast, obviously, all around the league. Uh, and, uh, you know, our, our guys love that. Uh, and, uh, there's, there's, you know, it's hard to find, you know, three other guys in the league who can heat up as quickly as Steph, Clay, and KD. And, uh, and that's what, what makes them special. Um, you know, the, uh, Steph and KD have been so sharp to start the season, and I think tonight they were just thrilled to see Clay getting going, and they were obviously feeding him the ball as much as they could. How frustrated have you seen him in the last 10 days or so? It seemed like he was kind of... Yeah, I think you know, Clay, Clay doesn't say a whole lot, but you can read his body language. You know, he gets he, he, he gets down on himself. He never blames anybody but himself for, for things. And, um, he, he was just frustrated. And um, it, we all knew it was just a matter of time uh, before uh, he, he busted out. And I didn't know it would all happen at once like this, but... Um, it doesn't really shock me either because we've seen we've seen Clay do this before. I was thinking ahead, man. <laughs> he called him Slick Watts. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't think he knew who I was referring to. He's a little young for that. Uh, there, Steve, you achieved championship success as a player and coach. You don't get here a lot often, but how does it feel to come back to you? Love coming back here. Uh, I love looking up at those banners and uh, walking down this hallway and thinking about the old days and. Uh, a lot of familiar faces, yeah, seeing Scotty and Go Purdue and Go Wellington and, uh, and a lot of familiar faces in the hallway and the parking lot. And, uh, these, these were amazing years for my family and me. And we always loved coming back. Do you feel bad for a team like that? Yeah, it wasn't a fair fight, obviously. I mean, that, the Bulls... Uh, are in a rebuilding mode, but they're you know, so many of the key guys were out. Um, so
so they were they were playing uh, with a group that wasn't you know, it's not the, the group that's supposed to be out there but sometimes injuries do that and you, you're forced to uh, to play with what you have and uh, you know I was proud of our guys for not letting down um, I think it's it's you know the most disrespectful thing you can do is not play hard our guys played hard and I was very proud of that effort um, but yeah we were playing so well and playing so fast and scoring um, you know at the end of the half you're kind of you know in a weird frame of mind as a coach you don't want to show anybody up and you're you know you want your guys to keep playing um, you know, and then when Clay was searching for the record, it was uncomfortable for us as a staff. But at the same time, we're you know we're not going to tell him don't go for an NBA record. You know? and, uh, so I'm glad he got it. Uh, I'm glad he earned it. And uh, then we took him out. We took the rest of the group out. And, and now Bill Wellington is staring at me from the back. <laughs> so I'm intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.